There are really only three human fears. Piranhas, open wells, and revolving doors. And they all share one thing in common, a slow, lonely death. Now most writers will make the mistake of trying to put all three of these spheres into one story. But if you just stick to one of them, it's easier to think of a title. I had all the usual influences growing up as inspirations, the typical books and movies. Um, but like a lot of people of my generation, uh, the one that had the biggest impact was naturally Shadow Zone, The Undead Express. I never actually watched it, but that tagline, all aboard, the next stop could be your last, really got to me. Or the alternate tagline, next stop, hell. I mean, can you imagine how awful that would suck to be on a nice train, lots of leg room, but instead of getting off in Baltimore or Detroit, you get off in hell. And that's your last stop. You know, as an impressionable 33-year-old, that poster was just devastating to me. I've always wanted to write the ultimate haunted house story, because I think for far too long, writers have assumed that characters have to enter a haunted house to experience the terror. It's not true. Uh, the ultimate haunted house would be mobile. So you try to get away from it. And there it is in the rearview mirror, bearing down on you, on wheels, somehow. Uh, the ocean isn't safe. This haunted house floats. There's nowhere to hide, except for some place where it wouldn't fit, like a smaller house. It's just, it's so easy to think of an original horror story. All you do is you, you think of a totally random object and you improvise a story around it. You know, for instance, you're wearing a blue shirt. We're halfway there. Guy walks into work one day and uh, everyone is mysteriously wearing identical blue shirts. Uh, except for one guy in a Phillies jersey. You know what? You know what? Different totally random object. Um, uh, a haunted doll made from the flesh of prisoners on a pirate ship. 